Hello. What's up, guys? I think so. We said arcade theater. Hey, everyone. Thanks for reset Barry Prism River. Yeah, doing more scares. I mean, I wanted to do more scares in the first place. I I want a large sample size. I mean, not large, but at least I want a decent sample size, not a single run, to see how it really is. The only reason I wasn't streaming the last few days was because of the OMS thing, not because of scarce. Yeah, the Shadow Boat thing is on uh, my other channel. It's on the it's on ZFG two. Here. Thanks for reset Yoda's tiny sack. Thanks, Resub Compassu. Yeah, that trick. I mean, it could be used in rando if, uh... If it comes up that I need to beat Shadow Temple, but I don't have Lullaby or Furore's Wind, but I do have Hover Boots, I now have a new option. Thanks, Resub King. Thanks for resub Richard Nixon's Quinceañera. <laughs> Thanks for resub Krelmish. Thanks for resub J Carr. Thanks for resub Steely Tom. Missed the ending of yesterday's seed. How was it? If you just missed the ending of the seed yesterday, it was. I mean, it was long. I. I. uh... I basically had to get like 90% item collection, but I finished it. But the real, the real, um, interesting thing at the end of the stream was what happened after. If you didn't see the stream yesterday, see after I finished the seed. Nearly Hundo, yeah, I did have to get like, I want to say I probably got 90 to 95 item collection percent. Or at least checks, like if you include when I skipped junk chests because I knew they were junk. Hey, Mitch.
Is there a record for playing the OT intro for the longest time? You mean like how many times you've watched the intro? I mean, I probably have that record. Oh, do you mean like leaving leaving the title screen on for the longest amount of time? Oh, I definitely have that record too. I leave the title screen idle so much. Uh, the shadow hover for last night was, uh, it was for the OMS task too. Like OMS is a bi-weekly thing where you have like, um, a specific, specific speed run task and you have two weeks to do a speed run of it. And I found that trick specifically for that task. And it's quite a bit faster than the other strat. Well, it's faster than the other strat if you can do it well, which... I was able to do it moderately well, but not as well as I was hoping for. But still, it was fast. Thanks, Reset 2110. I am okay today. Uh, whether or not I do OMS on stream or... I mean, if I find a new trick like that, like that, I did kind of want to keep a secret just because I thought it'd be cooler to reveal it at the end. Uh, there might be some tasks where I do more runs on stream. I kind of think I might skip out on task three for real this time not not lying because I not not acting like I found a new another new trick or anything but I might actually skip task three but we'll see it'll I'm gonna do it on a case-by-case -case basis it's just it's gonna be how interesting I find each task thanks Risa Biwara Yeah, this is my own seed today. Yeah, Vigya, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It seems like... Seems interesting from a standpoint of... You have more options for routing, but then... When you get down to it, the routing doesn't actually seem that great. But we'll see. I mean, it's only been out for, what, like three days? Maybe, maybe there's still ideas people can come up with. Uh, the extra colors is, I think it's only an option in dev branches, but if you're using dev branches and not the main one, I think it's, um, under the, SF, under the cosmetics tab, it's randomized extra colors experimental. I said the same thing for task two though. Okay, I said the same thing for task two after I had already discovered that. That was me completely lying. Uh, for task three, I, I mean it this time. No logic is normally randomizers have logic so that all the items are placed in a way so that it's definitely beatable, so that items can't be in impossible locations. No logic means there's none of that and they can actually be anywhere. And that can sometimes lead to either ridiculously difficult seeds or even impossible seeds. Yes, opponent just mood. Yes, all bosses could be behind the rewards that lead them that lead to them in no logic. The odds of that is incredibly low, but it is non-zero.
Yeah, we need a Gamba. Let me get a Gamba for you guys. Okay, here's your Gamba. Uh, randomizer tournaments, the ones that run glitchless logic, which is basically everyone. Uh, I'm really not interested in glitchless logic. Uh, no logic, I am interested in races for, but... Th there have been starting some no logic races recently that I probably should try to get into. They're just kind of at a bad time for me a lot of the time. But, uh, I do... I am interested in no logic races. Uh, glitchless logic races, not so much. Uh, yeah, so the magic is considered a capacity upgrade, so... It does mean there's only one magic now instead of two. So yeah, just for clarification on... on the Gamba, there are now two bows instead of three. There's one magic instead of two. There's two bomb bags instead of three. Uh, there are still two hook shots because long shot is um, actually different than hook shot, and the wallets are unchanged because uh, you can actually buy different stuff with higher wallets. Yeah, still, still three wallets, still three wallets, still two hook shots, but now there's two bomb, two bomb bags instead of three, two bows instead of three, two slingshots instead of three, uh, one magic instead of two. Uh, no 2110, uh, each, uh, each entrance must be linked to another valid entrance. So, they can't be impossible. I mean, they could be impossible to get to, like, item-wise. Like, for example, a Bomb of the Well could be Ganon's Castle, and Furrow's Wind could be a Bomb of the Well, and then you can't Void Warp into it. But, entrance-wise, uh, there will always be a valid entrance to every entrance. <clears throat> uh, I don't have my own rule set listed somewhere, but as far as like ban things goes, it's just banning um, RBA, GIM, SRM, Wrong Warp, and Boss Key Skips. Uh, if you want my settings, um, any of my spoiler logs have the settings listed in them. Uh, you can either go to my paste bin. Check out, check out my paste pin, follow me on paste pin. Or, or just wait for me to post a spoiler log at the end. The, the real important social media account, your paste pin. Yeah, I still have paste pin pro. Follow me on paste pin and notepad plus plus. I do not have GitHub Prime. Maybe, maybe that's the next step forward. Thanks, Resub, Kjo. Didn't I get banned from Pacepin because of Child Bomb? That was so. That was only a theory. There was that one time where a bunch of Pacepin pastes started getting privated, and no one knew why. And the the leading theory was. It was like some kind of filter finding words like child and bomb or dungeon or something. But there was no actual proof of it and I think it ended up going away anyway. But it was kind of funny, yeah. Uh, I haven't changed the music recently. I mean, it depends on what you mean by recently. I, I think I haven't changed the music in like two-ish weeks. 
But I also haven't done as many randomizers in the last two weeks. Look at that, it was basically 100% from yesterday's seed. Bomb track. I gotta let it all play out before before I start. At least one one full go through of it. Yeah, uh, if you mean from yesterday's seed, yesterday's seed was different music because a different person made the music, or a uh, different person made the seed with different custom music. I love you, funny glitch man. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna get to the best part soon. Oh wait, not yet. DMCA'd. Well, thankfully this is apparently different enough from the original that it doesn't get caught. Which, I mean, I don't blame, I don't blame any algorithm for not catching this, for how different it is. Oh, here it comes. This is the best part, or wait, not yet. Coming up. Here we go. Things reset oblique angle. All right, <laughs> all right. There's one one pass through a bomb track. Let's get started. Get Ocarina first before I forget. Actually, not yet. I was gonna grab a stick, but I think I should avoid that right now. Three skulls in a row. Ah, oh. I want to see how many skulls will get in a row before it gets broken. Power boots, Kukiri sword, 255, 415, wow, they're expensive. Power 415, Kukiri 255. Yeah, sorry, sorry to boost, gang. You guys might be losing this one today. Oh, okay. Fire boss key is uh, DC song time block room. That's good. Check. 
Okay, and fires MQ and uh, gold special block is junk. Okay, what's Deku? Deku's Jabu. Okay, let me just write down stuff right now. Uh, D-pad down uses Ocarina when I have Ocarina. Which I currently don't. I should've gotten up nuts with that one. No more nuts. Oh, oh, you mean D-pad on the pause menu. Uh, D-pad on the pause menu shows what dungeons have what medallions. Although right now I don't know any of them except for what's in my pocket, which is the one you start with. I did check Meta's house. I think Zora's River, take it to Kek. Junk. I hope I can make it to CAC on time. I might have to skip a hint here. Oh yeah, Count House has been good a few times. It's pretty rare, but it happens occasionally. I know one time it had Saria's song, and I think Saria's song led to Light Arrows. Why'd I do that? I know why I do that. That's a OMS test 2 strat. If I didn't, uh, if I didn't already say that I was doing OMS test 2, that would be a very suspicious, uh, thing I just did. To have muscle memory for. I think it's a sub 808 in hotcakes. I think it's a resub era. era. Okay, 20 junk. 40 junk. 30 junk. 50 Gerudo training rounds key. That's basically junk. Okay, they're all junk. Yeah, Skuzzlers have been, I mean, I don't know about Loaded, but they've had some good stuff before. Yesterday they had some pretty good stuff. Or 
Quick shot in Gerudo Valley. That could be bad. I know, Scarce Item Pool doesn't mean more Ice Trips. Still same number of Ice Trips. The items that get removed just get replaced with junk. Got a boss key. That's really good, uh, boss key wise, because I have one boss key and I know where one boss key is, because I know I got the fire temple boss key hint. So that's already off to a good start. Forest stage. Dampay, Vanilla. <clears throat> I actually wish I had uh, explosives or Song of Time or something, because I actually want to use Dampay to go to the windmill, but uh, I will get trapped. I think technically, I could, uh, I think technically there is a triple slash clip I could do to clip through the Song of Time blocks, but the only setup I've seen is with Hookshot, and I don't know if it actually works with Bow. I mean, if it does, I don't actually know the setup. Oh well. Casual 46. That was a 46 starting from the bottom, though. Uh, starting from the bottom is essentially like a one second time saver, so it's closer to a 47, which is pretty average. No, Bo didn't win. Uh, I got fire arrows, but I can equip fire, like for the purposes of a, of a triple slash clip, I can equip fire arrows and use it as bow, but it does not count towards the Gamba for bow. Fire and light arrows. Can I get all three magic arrows before I get bow? Nope, that doesn't count as bow either. Rupees? 80? Okay, that's a... Uh... Uh, 80 rupees is a nice, uh, for when I need it later. That's a bow. 75. Oh wait, I shouldn't have done that.
I like how Bow Voters got teased twice and then still won. How did that how did that roller coaster of emotions feel? Yes, all of my VODs uh, will always be uploaded to the VODs channel. Really? My roll somehow ended at the like perfect moment where I don't get a jump off the ledge and so I just fall. Surprisingly that worked out. Why clip? Uh, it's just a little bit faster to clip than to actually go through the shop. Probably equip the bow before I forget I have it. Oh, you know what? I can actually equip swap sticks also. By getting lucky and not having anything. By having nothing in the. Uh, rightmost column and having the topmost item in the next column over, which is fire arrows, it does allow me to equip swap so I can equip swap uh, sticks in that case. And I want to do that in case I end up getting an item. Uh... I don't know if I can actually do much with this when I don't even have, uh, I don't have explosives, I don't have strength. Uh, so that was, um, that was quick put away, which gives me a glitch damage source, or uh, my, it makes my sword have a glitch damage properties. Uh, so that's actually kind of a rando exclusive thing because, not not the trick itself, but that breaking the wall, because it doesn't have bomb properties, but it does have ice arrow properties, and ice arrows happen to break those walls, and or no, uh, blue fire happens to break those walls. And Rando has a specific setting for blue fire arrows, which makes blue uh, blue fire act as, or it makes ice arrows act as blue fire. And so the ice arrows acting like blue fire, and blue fire breaking those walls, and QPA having ice arrow damage allows me to use QPA to break those walls. I have to do it again though, because I don't have. Normally, if I have, um, if I have shield, I could crouch stab, and I wouldn't have to do this repeatedly. But I don't have shield, and I oh my god, I don't want to waste all my sticks. Thor's wins. It's a good thing I equip swap sticks now because Furrow's Wind would block equip swap now. Thanks, Resub Nocturne. Uh, 
Uh, this is only a hint, but I think it's early on enough that it's probably worth it. Okay, big run. R ruling out big run is probably worth it. Bottle looks very good. Got a stick. Got a stick back. Yeah, I got my OI tool. I'm pretty sure they only restricted adult from using stick, probably just to make an added difference between adult and child. I I feel like most of the items that only adult or only child can use, they were just like, well, we want to make them more different, so let's just like restrict the usage of some of these items. Fire key. Egg. This. Compass. Not worth. Still no Hylian Shield. Actually, wait, I already went to Kakiri. Should I just save warp? I need bugs. Where do I get? Should I just go back down to Kak? I should go back down to Kak, yeah. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna do something weird. I actually should have done this first, but I wasn't thinking. Um, I'm going to go back to the top of DMC, exit out the top, and get the Night Skull at the top, and then I'm gonna head back down to Kak, get bugs, do Windmill Guy, and then probably go to Temple of Time and go Child. Good hint. Okay, Fire Temple is Ganon's Castle. I'm rich. And I know it has to be MQ Fire Temple also. Oh, 
I also have to be careful about uh, equipping over sticks because if I unequip it, I'll lose it until I get Dins to equip swap it again. Actually, I think just going back to child is I'm going to lose it. Well, it served its purpose. I got use out of it. Oh, I can do archery. Archery, grab bugs, windmill guy. How am I so bad at archery recently? At least I saved that, but still. No, I can't do archer again to get another deck of shield. If you do it again, you get uh, the same repeat vanilla prize, which is 50 rupees. Okay, I think go to child. Um, very cool. So, so it takes me to Kikiri. I'm closer to Temple of Time here. No, Skullsaw rewards are all bad. He's head out bad. Sun GTG key. Horse GTG. Final Frog's Junk. I don't think I've ever gotten eyeball frog from frogs, no. <clears throat> It'd be a pretty rare occurrence, I think.
Okay, so I know Hookshot is in Gruta Valley, so I at least need to check Gruta Valley before I go back to Adult. Uh, I'm not sure how much of Child I want to do. I think Child is... Or I think, uh... Right now, Adult is really under-equipped, so I think I probably want to do a decent amount of Child. Oh, Din's in bomb bag. 15. What a steal. Alright, well now... Okay, Din's 260. Yeah, 260 rupees for equip swap. Oh, right, I don't have choose. Bombs and choose are separate. Grotto is Zora's Domain. Well, I'm Kree Forest. Okay, that's very good to know. Uh... So, Wall and Kukiri Forest means... So, it's none of the basic checks, but it could still be one of the easy child checks. Well, it can't be Count House. I think that means I sh am definitely capable of getting it. Yeah. I think there there aren't any checks in Kikiri that I can't get right now, except for Count House, which I already know is ruled out. So that's good. Yeah, it could be bugs, but I have bugs. I should have used pot. Pot would have been faster. Oh, well, there's one hook shot. Okay, that's cool. Then I actually know where long shot is then. Uh, actually, I'm gonna buy six. I'll just buy like two. Oh, I know where four stages, right? Four stages. Graveyard. Do I want to do four stage right now? Island Shield. Water Key 235. Uh. Uh, I should probably buy that Island Shield in a sec. I think I skip... I think I skip, uh... I already did this. Or wait, did I do this? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna skip forest stage right now. I think I'm gonna make this adult section short. Or child section short, yeah. 
Refresh the on-screen chats. Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, I did this yesterday, and it didn't really fix anything. Yeah, one of them's broken and, and it doesn't seem to be getting fi or wait, did that fix it? No? Okay, yeah, it's just something's broken about it. Should have done night cack? How how would I have done night cack? Not mean to throw it. All right. So since I uh, since I got since I woke up Talon, I can do all the daytime lawnmower checks. This is probably good right now. So I'll do daytime lawnmower, hover over the fence, and go do Gruta Valley. I'll probably at least go down to Lake Hylia to get Scarecrow Song and then Save Warp, and then see where Save Warp is, go check Kikuri, and then after Kikuri I'll probably go Adult. I should probably like pull the bomb before I bonk in the tree. Yeah, if I if I uh, if my save warp is Colossus, I can get out. As long as I have bombs, I can get out. It won't be easy, but it's uh, not too big of a deal. If you don't have bow, arrows become five rupees. Same with bombs. Thank you. 
Serenade. It's actually pretty good. It's kind of exactly what I want. In fact, would it be better to play Serenade and then go to Gerudo instead of go to Gerudo and then play Kylia? Uh. I think so. I think I'm gonna do it, yeah. Yeah, the warp songs are upside down now to distinguish them from the normal songs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a bit of a weird route here, but it'll work, I think. Okay, Fortress, Song, Storm's Grotto is a fairy fountain. Oh, that's not gonna work. Thanks for giving a sub, man milk. And also thanks for the bits. Thanks for resub, easy K. Water boss key. Very good on boss keys. Uh, I still actually need to check what this item is. Please. 
That's good enough. I think you're getting five subs, oh boy. This does seem like a pretty good seed so far, but remember that I have none of Boomerang, Mirror Shield, Hammer. And those are a huge limiting factor in these settings. And skulls. Not that it matters. <laughs> Goron tunic. The blue Goron tunic. Oh yeah, Hellion Shields. Vanilla. Okay, so I got a hint for Hookshot being here. So, I'll hope that... Well, I already have Hookshot, so this would be Longshot. So, I'd hope Longshot is one of these next checks. Not the Waterfall. I'm gonna intentionally die here. See if this is hookshot. No, okay, I'm gonna save here. Oops. I'm gonna attempt this mega flip once, and if I fail it, then uh, that'll count as my save warp, and it'll still be earlier night.
Nice. Okay, boomerang chest is water small key. Sorry, song. Okay, I'll keep that. Go actual save work now. Let's see, where is this? Thanks to reset MW. Forest Temple. That's interesting. Oh, wait, is Forest Temple. Out here should be GDG. Uh, do I wanna? Yeah, let me try this. I'm gonna check the guards right now, I guess. Yeah, there's like an extended save warps option for more weirder uh, places like in a dungeon. So, oh yeah, Thieves Hideout was foolish. Uh, I shouldn't be doing these, yeah. Okay, wait, I should just do, I should just go for the chest up here then. I think Rando has this changed so that it's not Mushroom anymore, pretty sure. No, I haven't found any hint on magic yet. Heart piece is still there. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back and forth a little real quick just because I want to check the first two rooms. Or first room, I guess. If a hint says something is foolish, it means that there are no significant items in that area. So if it says Thieves Hideout is foolish, then it means there is no good item in Thieves Hideout, period. It's MQ. Uh, yesterday's seed was about five and a half hours. Significant is not junk, so uh, so it can't be anything like rupees, you know, arrows or something. It it can be items like you know, neighbor's love or uh, lens or stone of agony. I think I think those are still like in the category of main items, but it just can't be specifically the junk ones. It can't be rupees, you know, item pickups. The, the obvious junk. Another bottle. I do like having two bottles. Uh, hard pieces are considered junk, yeah. Small keys are not junk. Small keys can be required to complete the game. So being in, having the save warp be in GTG is a pretty good excuse to uh, just go to Spirit Temple early if I don't suck. Yeah, 
Yeah, at least it seems like this seed is fine so far. It, I mean, I, w I kept telling you guys, I don't think the seven hour seed was gonna be normal with the scarce settings. So you guys were in full panic mode. But I mean, again, I want a decent sample size. This is only gonna be two runs. And also this could still end up being worse soon. Uh, this is awkward with stick. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Or wait, what am I... I could have done the easier method. I'm stupid. I had QPA. I do that all the time. Forget that I have QPA active. Uh, the fire there was a glitch that gave me glitch sword damage with multiple different damage properties, and one of them happens to be Din's fire, so it ends up lighting the torch. Castle key. What's in here? Water temple. This is, I believe it's vanilla from an earlier hint. Yeah. I don't think I can do anything. Well, I probably could, but not anything. It'd be, it's not a good idea. Oh wait, I do have water boss key actually. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to hover to the boss storage to see. If I can get bombs. Please? I also want to do ledge cancel to get in the grotto, but I guess neither of those are good options. I'm just gonna warp out. It's probably better to, uh... Just do this later. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'll head to Zora's Domain and... I'll do Zora's Domain, uh... Zora's River... Kakiri... I need to farm. Should've farmed with ISG. Uh-oh, 
that might not have been low enough. Oh no. Uh this sucks. I hope I can still make it in before daytime. See how much that ruby is. Nope. I'm gonna do fountain first. Uh, do I have any? I have no projectile. Except bombs. Uh, let me check Jabu first, actually. Jabu is bongo. I could actually... Uh, is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, here. This is... Okay, this is going to be really weird. This is... I do think this is what I should do. Okay. Wait, I don't want to make it daytime though, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna save warp out. Uh, maybe I just shouldn't have beaten Bongo. Well, I don't know. Items worth it, I guess. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna save warp out. And have to do this later. Compass. The useless compass. I don't want to leave that, but going to it with only bombs really sucks. To be hammers junk. Winner. All right, I'll try this once. I don't think this is a good idea, but I don't, know, don't do that. Uh, I lost that. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna have to skip the key. Thorn City Hammer Junk. Thieves Hideout Key 100%. If it's Thieves Hideout Key, that's great. That means it's completely useless.
I didn't take the dungeon reward because it would make it daytime. And I want it to be nighttime right now so I can check some gold skulls. side hop, not dive that direction. Probably best to just run up here. to Kukiri before daytime. Are you serious? Oh no. I don't know if this will make it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, fine. I guess I'll check Zora's River. Man, this was meant to be a short child section and I ended up doing everything, or not everything, but I'm gonna be close to checking all of child. <clears throat> child is kind of like that, where it's just like, it just feels like everything leads to everything and so you should just check everything. But you end up spending an hour in child. Yeah, I won't have to come back to child, but what if I never had to do child in the first place? What if I spend half an hour looking for no items? Because my original plan was just... I just wanted to get a uh, wallet hookshot, maybe do a few little checks here and there, and then I'd kind of just be done with child. But one thing led to another. Long of time. Uh, it's probably nowhere near night time. Uh, do I go in Kikiri anyway? I kind of have to hope it's not the nighttime skull then. Or, uh. Oh my god. Yes, waste more, waste more time a day. For the wallet. I forgot to check frogs. Actually, wait. Oh, you know what? I didn't forget to check frogs. I intentionally skipped them because I thought I didn't have any songs. And I remembered, no, I have both Sarias and I just got song time. And this is wasting some nice time, so that's decent. Just hopefully it won't waste too much. I know, maximum wallet size is 999 with these things. With, with uh, Shop Sanity on, there's always Tycoon Wallet.
Okay. I feel like I got Boomerang in that exact Skulltoe location before. Or from that exact scrub. Or maybe it was both. I was gonna check this when I came back, like when leaving Sacred Forest Meadow, and then I realized if I do that, I'm gonna go in the other uh, grotto and that's gonna close the grotto again. Oh my god, mirror shield and uh Mirror Shield and Boomerang almost back to back. Alright, maybe this is a baby seed. At this point, with two boss keys, knowing where the third boss key is and having easy access to it, boomerang and mirror shield, bombs, hookshot, bow, light arrows. Only thing I'm missing missing really is magic. Big pose is not magic. Both OT items fed. Ruined. 
Bomb the well is MQ, that's good. Well, it's half good. It could be good. Oh, Deco is Jabu. I might want to check Jabu right now. I can at least check what the boss is. Oh, and I have Boomer. I should just full check Jabu, actually. Seriously? Well, whatever. I have extra bugs. That's why I caught two. Alright, is this the wallet? Nocturne. Actually, I should check these first. Now that I think about it. Because if Deku is something good, it'll turn daytime. And after this, I won't care about daytime. But while I'm here... Right, well, specifically this, I care about being daytime. There's the wallet. Okay, it's a good thing I cared about time of day. Thanks, Risa Vexo. It's going all right. Really? The double. Okay, what does that get me? I can go buy Dins, I can buy Hover Boots, I can buy Kikiri Sword. Uh... Actually, this is an awkward position because I can buy Kikiri Sword. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I can buy Hover Boots right now, I'm not going to because it's too expensive and I won't be able to buy Kikiri Sword. So... I'm gonna buy Kikiri Sword now, I'm gonna buy Dins before I go Adult. And I'm gonna buy hover boots as adult when I come back and kill skull kids. Hovers are four fifteen. So I I have enough rupees for Dins plus uh, Kikiri Sword. Well, technically, I'm like 15 rupees short, but I mean, that's obviously easy to make up. Uh, but Hover Boots would have made me had have to farm a lot for both of them. Uh, wait, I already know what the Stinger Chest is, right? It's a water small key. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna play slightly risky, and I'm gonna skip the Rudo chest. Because I know it's a water small key, which probably won't matter. But it's going to save a lot of time by skipping it. And I'll probably end up finding another water key somewhere else. Kyugo at Kakariko. Well, no, I'm not going to be going to Kakariko that soon, probably, because... Um, my save warp is Kikiri as adult, so I'm probably gonna save warp right away. We're actually, will I? I'm actually not sure where I want to go first as adult. Well, I probably want hover boots right away. Yeah, I think save warp and kill a skull kid is better than go to uh, Kak. Also, this music is great for Javi. Really? Is it possible to randomize ROM hacks? Possible, yes, but no one bothers to actually do it because it's a lot of work for something not many people would really care about. I mean, if someone wants to make a ROM, uh, randomizer for ROM X, they could. It's just... It's not simple. Oh, come on. Lens. Wait, no. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. Skipping Rudo.
No, no vibrato. I'm not even going to the boomerang room. I got a hint for it being a water small key, which is probably not necessary. And so I'm skipping it. Because it saves a lot of time. Hookshot was, uh, what was it? Lots of pot skulls, Skulltula? Like, basically one of the easiest checks in the game. So, got lucky with that. Oh, I have sword. Forgot. in here. Gans Castle. That's a good one. Uh, can I do this? No. Uh, this is going to be a bit awkward. I could technically do this with QPA, but it's not a good idea. <clears throat> Better to come back here as adult. Should I even check much of this as child? Uh, there's yeah, there's some that I can just do very freely. Thanks for reason up Thursday. No, that wasn't loser. Thursday. 
Hope you feel better soon. I need seven dungeon rewards. Uh, I think I'm going right back to the Lost Woods. Honestly, I feel like I shouldn't even bother checking Lost Woods. I feel like I should just go adult. I have like... Almost everything I need. And not almost everything I need, but like... Probably enough to get through what I need. Yeah, Skulls of the Rewards were all bad. Okay, I feel like... Uh, should I check Goron City? I feel like I... Should check Goron City because it's right there, but I shouldn't because I don't think I need to right now. Uh, but I don't really have a good way to get back to it if I do need to come back to check it. And I can do the Sorry Song check. So I can full clear it. What? Dude. When you- when there's a song staff up and you mess up the song, it's really annoying because... You can't just like cancel it, or like if you're doing OI for it, you can't just cancel it and redo it easily. Uh... So I intentionally fail it to try to retry it, but then the Skull Kid specifically, he yells at you so you can't do that. So it's actually an entire... oh, Forest Key, that's good. I was getting suspicious that Forest had a key ring, and that would have been bad because uh, Forest is MQ, and the Forest MQ key ring situation has happened multiple times before already. That's a Durango's Cavern? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so I got a hint that the Hammer Rock chest here is bad, so I don't need to check that. I just need to check the three back here. Water Temple. I think Death on Crater. Okay, so I guess it's worth it to check Death on Crater. Oh no, come on. Nice, I got the the ground clip where I don't even touch the ground. <clears throat> uh, the advantage of doing rando on VC, well one, I just prefer VC in general because I'm used to it from speedruns. But uh, VC lets you, oh choose, nice. That's big. Especially because now I can do this. Uh, but one thing with VC is you can use Deku Sticks as adult without the game crashing. Which is... Uh, pretty nice. Leads to a lot of stuff. Uh, can I do this? Yeah. 
But yeah, preference plus uh, sticks as adult without the game crashing. There's also supposed to be a slingshot here, which should be... A uh, slingshot should be this Skulltula. If it's not this Skulltula, then it's... Uh... Bolero? Oh yeah, I guess it could be the Fairy Fountain, yeah. Yeah, so it's probably the Fairy Fountain, I guess. Oh yeah, or the Hammer Grotto. Forgot about that too. Don't know how I'm forgetting about so many DMC checks. Yeah, I already played Sarius for Darunia. That's what got me choose. Kajiro, I will actively avoid that. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna play Nocturne now. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time for Dampe, but I might, and so I think this is the best option. Even then, I think it's still a little bit faster. Actually, it might have been good to check Fire Temple first and then do this. I do have Ocarina. Lost the Gambon, whether I would, uh... Whether I would, um, accidentally do OI or not. Is Tampe still here? Nope, missed Tampe. I can't believe I haven't gotten a hint for magic yet. Yeah, there's only one magic now, but I still should be getting a hint for it. I might have to check the hints that I usually skip. Worst possible location for magic would be something like, well, some check that requires magic, like, uh, what's a check that absolutely requires magic? Hard to think of, because most checks I can, most checks I can do with QPA, uh, No, fire road check doesn't need magic. I did not want to use Navi there. I 
forgot the frame is child. It's different from child and adult. Child is big red. Adult is first explosion frame. I don't like doing that with D-pad, which is why I equipped it. Goma? Or making it daytime is fine now, yeah. In fact, it's good, so I can do cuckoos. I actually am still going to walk to Temple Time because I want to pass by the grotto and get rupees, but that's nice. Oh wait, this is really annoying for time of day for getting dins because I want to get dins, but it's going to be at night time. Or I, I need to enter at night time to get dins because uh, it's in the chew shop. Uh, do I just have to wait? I might have to just wait out here. Fire Temple has magic, okay. Um... I guess I just farm rupees while I wait for nighttime. Seriously? Okay. That's. I'm just wasting more time. Fire Temple's nice, though. I like when Fire Temple. Oh, wait, you know what? Ooh. Uh, slight problem. I believe Fire Temple is Master Quest? Or wait. Yeah. Yeah, from one of the item hints I got earlier, I I can deduce that Fire Temple must be Master Quest. Uh, Fire Master Quest needs Hammer. Or a Void Warp. Uh, oh, I already got the rupees. Uh, but I have Furrow's Wind, but I don't have Magic. Because Magic is in Fire Temple, unless Magic is one of the early items in Fire Temple. Yeah, that, that is the sign that uh, the seed might not be as smooth as it might appear. There's only one magic in these settings now.
fire key. Pretty sure with three fire keys I can do everything. Uh, well, everything if I have long shot, but I know long shot must be in Gruta Valley. As long as long shot isn't uh, the cow check, I should be able to get long shot as adult. Oh, you know what? It could also be the Song of Storms check. Okay, so Hookshot could be rough in Gruta Valley. Okay, finally time to go back to adult. Okay, what am I doing first? I can go get hover boots uh, with a save warp. I think that's probably good. Yeah, I think... Save warp, go get hover boots. Check forest temple, check fire temple, check DC. Go get the boss key from DC. Uh, wait, do I want to save warp? Yes. Yeah, the mirror shield is really cool, and it goes with my tunic. Hover boots. Oh, uh, wait, do I want to go to Jabu slash Gans Castle? No, not yet. Uh, I think I actually might go to Fire Temple first. I th said I was going to do it later, but I think... E no, Force first. Please. Key. Yes, I have sorry is sorry is slow. Got both uh, boomerang and dins. Uh, 
Uh, do I care if it makes this daytime? I think it's fine right now. You can equip Boomerang as adult only with a glitch called Equip Swap, which is where you equip an item over a different item slot than usual. So you can't normally equip Boomerang, but it does work with a glitch, yeah. But you have to have a certain inventory layout for it to work, also. I think I want to kill another Skull Kid. No, oh, probably two actually, because I'm going to want to buy from Medigoron. I'll go kill the same two again. Okay, so that is uh, Storms Locked. So I know the Muddy Wall Grotto is. I have a uh, Goron Tunic. The Muddy Wall Grotto is Storms Grotto in Sora's Domain. That is a good hint, though. Yeah, this is a nice blue. Okay, there's a slingshot from the hint that I got earlier. How many times would you have to clip past my to make sorry song worth it? I don't know, but it's not worth considering. Oh, did I still not mark slingshot? Whoops. Ice cavern, should I? Yeah, I might as well. I can clean out ice cavern relatively quickly. 
Requiem? I didn't get Requiem. What? Did I get Requiem? There's no way I got Requiem. Oh, Prelude, yeah. Prelude I didn't mark. No, no BK skips. I don't need this. I or I guess yeah, I can they can be two drops. I was gonna go I went for the bomb pots there and then I realized I had nineteen bombs out of twenty and it was kinda of pointless, but then I remembered I have chews too so I could get chew drops. I know, chew drops and bomb drops I'm pretty sure are fifty fifty. Uh, in Rando when you have the shoes and logic settings on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I, it seems like it at least. Valero. Why didn't I just ground jump in the first place? It's actually a good way out of here. Actually, well, actually no, because I'm gonna play Nocturne out of here, I think. Might actually be worth grabbing. I can't wait to attempt a death warp somewhere and then remember that I have a fairy. So three hour seed possibly, uh, kind of. This seed, it seems like this seed is gonna largely depend on magic. Okay, yeah, so Nocturne is a good idea because that was uh, Shadow Temple. But yeah, this is gonna largely depend on 
how I get to magic. Cause I know I know magic is in fire temple. I know fire temple is master quest, which means that I need hammer to access most of fire temple. Well, I need hammer or a frozen void orb, but frozen void orb requires magic. Which if magic is locked inside fire temple, that's bad. But magic could also be one of the like three or four really easy checks in master quest fire that don't need hammer. And if they're th if magic is that, then this will be a very easy seed. In fact, if it's that, then this, I'm probably making the seed way longer than it needs to be. Still no strength. Would I play a rando where everything is mirrored? No, that just sounds annoying. I like settings that increase the randomization, not just add like random arbitrary things that are intended for difficulty, but don't actually make anything difficult, they just make it annoying. I like more randomized items, not, not random arbitrary difficulty. Yeah, I think uh, moderate increases in damage output, like 2x damage or something, those could be interesting because, like like you said, like easier death warps and stuff, those could have merit. Um, but st stuff like 1 hit KO or like ice traps everywhere or combining both of them and bonk KO and stuff like that, I just know it's just annoying. I mean, I can see why other people like it, but not, not me. Uh, wait, where am I going? Uh, yeah, this way. Okay, so I know that fire boss key is in here. And I also can just check the end of the dungeon easily. Oh, I actually should have got this when I first came in here. Okay. I actually don't think it would have made a difference earlier because all of my... Um, all of my shop stuff needed two wallets. 
Though having wall of one wouldn't have actually been that much better early on, but neat. I just got Tycoon Wallet. Hello? How is that not lighting it? I hate torch hitboxes. I love that aloe emote. Why is that so good? Strats for uh, learning the strats for NQ dungeons isn't that bad. It's kind of a lot to learn just because you have to, you know, learn strats for two di two different dungeons and like separate them in your head. But the strats for MQ aren't exactly like significantly har harder than the strats for vanilla. Yeah, I have bunny hood on. Glitched invisible bunny hood. Okay, I know Fireball's key is in this room. I know I have Song of Time. Song of Time in this room is so annoying. But I think it's better to just skip Song of Time. What? Oh wait. Okay, and actually... <laughs> It probably is better to do something. Like that. Actually, no, I could have hookshot extension it, I think. Alright, maybe I should have just done something time in the beginning. Very cool. I need to use shoes and light the eyes. Did I fall? I fell.
Yeah, Song of Time won't work on a block that you're standing on. I think Song of Time does not work on a stone you're clipped in, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, like, it specifically does a coordinate check just to see are you in this range of coordinates. And obviously, clipping into it would put you in that range. But, Vaja, one bus can't beat. Uh, was Four Simple King Zongo? I think so, right? Uh, yeah, let's go here. Oh, it was Baronade, right? It was Shadow that was King Zongo. Okay, hold on, I just gotta. I forgot to write down some notes. Spirit Temple. I might just not want to do anything in Spirit right now. Uh, yeah, I think just leave. I can do stuff in Spirit. I don't think it's worth it right now. And I, I can come back easily. Oh, let me get Scarecrow Song. Uh, 
Another fire key. Uh, I should kill this first. It's gonna mess my ears set up. Up. So I know Lullaby is in the grotto in here, but I can't get to the grotto without Song of Storms. So that's cool. Oh, I never checked the Zora- or no, I did check Zora Shop as Child. It was junk. Compass, that might be useful. Okay, that's just the bomb of the well one. Bomb of the well being bonga. Thanks, CYG. Yeah, I did beat Bongo, but I intentionally didn't get the... Uh, I intentionally didn't get the reward. It is here in Jabu. I'm gonna get it right after this. I intentionally didn't get the reward at the time because it would have made it daytime, which would have messed up my routing. And it's easy to go back and get. But yeah, I will, uh, right after I leave GTG. Actually, do I even want to do GTG? Uh, I do, just because it's not gonna be easy to come back here. Spirit boss key. I'm really starting to get the feeling that this is going to be a huge troll seed centered around magic and fire temple. Because now, like, I'm so set on finding bosses. I, I think, like, I am guaranteed in at least uh, Ganon boss key mode. I think I can for sure get Ganon boss key no matter what right now. But magic and fire temple is really going to complicate things. Come on, why are you taking so long? Attack me. Uh, I do know where Fire Temple is. I know it's Ganon's castle. And I know it's Master Quest. Uh, and I can get there right now. I probably should go check there at least to see if it's one of the first few checks. Because if it is the, the, one of the first few checks, then it suddenly becomes super easy.
Uh, my OOT looks so HD because I'm actually using an upscaler. As well as a Wii modded to output HDMI. Why don't you choose a Wii U? Uh, Wii U is disgusting. Uh, where am I going? I think I want to go this way first. Yeah, Wii U is not good for this game at all. I just realized I think I routed this badly. I think from here I can just open the doors. Water key. Okay, I made kind of a bad routing decision. I'm gonna have to go all the way around GTG again. No, no idea about Hammer. Hammer right now is the thing that is worrying about the seed. Well, hammer slash magic.
Yeah, Hammer could be behind Lullaby, and Lullaby I know is behind Song of Storms. And, I mean, I don't have any indication that Song of Storms itself would be impossible yet. But, uh... Could be worrying. Thanks, Risa, Fierce Link. Yeah, if Storms is behind Lullaby, then Storms and Lullaby are both impossible. But right now, I don't have any indication of that, so no reason to believe that yet. Plenty of places Storms could still be that are entirely possible. Uh, that should be it. It would be funny if this seed that was seemingly surprisingly easy for a scarce uh, item setting seed ends up being uh, an impossible seed. Wait, is that... Yeah, okay. Whenever I read that hint, I for some reason I get mixed up if it's saying uh What is why did I forget the setup for this? I'm okay, here. Wait, I I've been doing the choose setup for this, but I don't remember Okay, now I remember it. Hold on. The doing the choose setup for this made me forget the bomb setup. <laughs> I already beat Bongo earlier, I just didn't go in the blue warp, so that's why Bongo's already dead. Spear Medallion. Okay, I'm gonna go check Ganon's castle, or I, I know Ganon's castle is Fire Temple. I'm gonna go in fire, check the first few checks, hope that magic is there. If magic is not there, then I am on a quest for Hammer. Or... Actually, I do remember seeing a video recently of something that could potentially be useful. There's been, uh, videos recently of some interesting Void Warps using the Odd Mushroom Timer. And I do know where Kajiro is. Although I don't remember the specifics of it. I think it might have actually used Frora's Wind also. Which if it does... Uh, would be a problem. I remember this. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, this is it. Okay. I missed the frame, I think. Yeah.
Did I miss it again? Okay, I can't waste any more bombs. I can weird shot the big chest, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go past the gate. Did I miss it again? I think that was it. That was it. Oh my god, dude. Uh, here. Let me just reset so I get my bombs, but bombs back. Yeah, I'm trying to go past the gate and then, uh, so I can get to Flare Dancer from behind. Wait, do I even need to do this? I think I have, I might have enough keys that I can avoid doing this. Maybe I should just... Yeah, I have five, never mind. I have every Fire Temple key. I don't even need to do that. No, if I weird shot the chest, I get stuck in there. The point is to weird shot past the chest so I can go to the Flare Dancer room, get that chest, and then I would weird shot into that, into the uh, cage chest. You can hookshot Flare Dancer. What did you use in your casual playthrough? Did you use bombs? You always use bombs, thing. Gold scale. I saw green for a second. And I thought it was good, but no, it's just gold scale. Okay, one more chance for magic to be not terrible. Or at least not locked behind hammer. No, you can't see what's inside the chest without opening it. I mean, there, there's a setting you could do for um, chest textures match contents, but I don't have that on right now. All right, magic requires hammer, or I need to figure out a void warp. Bomb of the well. Uh, this is bomb of the well MQ. Okay, so I I semi know where long shot is, at least.
Oh, where was the water temple again? Water was spirit. Okay, I'm gonna go to... Uh, desert. Oh, I guess I should probably do this. I know the sun is junk, so I only need to check, uh, the skull. Actually, wait, should I go in Spirit Temple? Actually, yeah, I think I should... Wait, no. No, I should go this way, because I know that Longshot might be in Gruta Valley. I was thinking I should go in Spirit Temple, which is Water Entrance, and then take the hands out to Colossus. But I think this is actually better. Because uh, most likely I'm getting Longshot in Gruta Valley. Well, by most like it's actually more like 50-50, I think. Because I know I've narrowed Longshot in Greta Valley down to... It's either one of the two adult Skulltulas, or the Song of Storms Grotto, or the Cow. Song of Storms and Cow I can't do. The Skulltulas I can. So, 50-50, I guess. And it's turning daytime. That is fantastic. I know, it can't be hammer chest because I got a hint for it being junk. Uh, that is actually really bad. That kind of ruins everything that I was planning. So I really don't want to wait, and I know Thieves Hideout is junk. And Gruta Fortress only has... The only thing to check in Gruta Fortress really is, uh... A Skulltula, two Skulltula, <laughs> two Skulltulas. I already checked the chest. What am I even doing here then? I guess just go straight to... Colossus? Which I can't because I don't have, I need long shot to weird shot through. So I need to go around here. Oh, I need to get caught. That's the option. No, I don't have Sunsong. Okay, doing that trick with Bunny Hood is very weird. I'm gonna take it off. Wasteland guy had hammer. Wasteland guy good. Wait. Uh, I actually should not go get magic right away, because I know I have a boss at Water Temple. And I still need to beat bosses. Where did I find Volvagia earlier? Volv was DC, right? Okay, I have five. I can actually beat... Uh, I can beat every boss now, so it's gonna just be a matter of finding the fastest bosses. So water... 
I think I know that water is a boss, I'm pretty sure. Lavage is at DC, which is easy to get to. Uh... Wait, what was the boss of... What was the boss? Oh yeah, Fire Temple was, um... Bomb of the Well, that's it. Spirit, I can also check Spirit, but Full is probably just better. Vanilla. I just wanted to listen to music more. Okay, so this will give me one medallion, so forest. Okay, so I think just Nocturne, go to, actually Bolero, I don't need Bolero or Nocturne, I think Bolero is probably up slightly faster. Go to DC, be Evolve. That'll give me seven. That'll give me the boss key. And then... And then I just go straight to fire. No, by Nocturne I mean, I meant the song. Like, uh, I was thinking, I need to go to DC, so I wasn't sure if it was faster to play Nocturne or Bolero to get to DC. I know the Nocturne check is junk. I think Teresa, back to you, what then opens up the least checks. I mean, if we're, if we say that it has to at least open up one, at least one check, uh, Song of Time is probably the lead. Well, Song of Time is variable depending on circumstances. It it's either like Song of Time or Sorry a Song, or I guess Lens. If you want to count Lens as being required for chess game, that's the only use for Lens. Sorry a Song has three. Uh, Song of Time kind of just has one, which is the frogs. Well, actually, I guess two frogs. But it could have more depending on Master Quest settings or what other items you have. But yeah, something like Lens being one, or Sorry a Song being three, something like that. Oh, Sun Song is- or no, Sun Song is three, actually, never mind. I was gonna say Sun Song was one, but it's actually three.
Yeah, magic is go mode, and I know magic is in fire temple, so I just have to go through fire. Uh, Sun just three because there's the chest that gets spawned by Sun Song. There's the frog individual check, and there's the frog final check. Oh, actually, I, I forgot to count for frog final check as Saria's song. That's actually four for Saria's song. For Sapphire. Boss key. Okay, so this actually, uh, depending on what what exact check it is in Fire Temple, it could be annoying. Uh, because I don't have long shot, there's one Skulltula in Fire that I really prefer long shot for. And if I don't have it, then it's going to be really dumb. Uno Moss, please. Dude, this was a lucky scarce seed for being this quick. Remember remember what happened last time? Same settings, seven hours. This one, same settings, three hours. I don't want to risk being here for ten hours. Sorry, I don't want a ten hour stream. Oh wait, this could be really annoying actually. Dude. Look at how dumb the hookshot hitbox is. Okay, so I need to do some QPA. Please leave me alone. Yeah, Scarce removes the highest upgrades, so there's only a 40 euro quiver and a 30 bomb bag and stuff like that. Uh, no, this way. 
What am I doing? Yeah, still 50 choose because choose doesn't have a capacity upgrade. Although there is only a. There is only three packs of choose now instead of the usual like six to ten that you could get. Which is probably the biggest nerf overall. Thanks for the sub, Pandrogenous. Uh. Go this way. Uh, Hammer and MQ is very early on. It's at the very bottom of Fire Temple. You get it like right at the start. Hammer was Carpet Salesman, which is pretty interesting. I like it when Carpet Salesman and Medigoron are, are important. No, I don't. Almost forgot. There are Song of Time blocks here. Oh wait, no. The only check up here is the Skulltula, right? Because I know that the Skulltula is junk. Yeah, never mind. I need to go up here. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. No. Fine, I'll just go back up. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Rando Rain. <laughs> No, it's not an MQ moment. That's a I forgot how to play the game moment. This goes down here. Okay, so it does look like magic is probably going to be one of the annoying checks. Intended strat, yeah. Uh, no, this way.
There's a Skulltula directly above right here that I can get with long shot, but not hook shot. And I have to go a really long way around to get it with that long shot. Or do a massive hover. Uh, is it really going to be the topmost Skulltula? Why did I do that? No. Oh. I don't need you for your answer. I was kind of hoping it was going to be that. So I could boomerang it and just leave. Okay, that's go mode. I was hoping I could make past that. I should know that I can't make it past that. Raid Nero, is Nero Sama on? Maybe. I gotta go watch my favorite streamer after the stream. Who is Nero Sama? A literal. AI streamer, like it's an actual AI text, AI like language thing as a streamer. It's very interesting and very funny. It got banned, but it was a it was a temporary ban. She's back now. In the validation chest. Oh, come on. I wasn't paying attention. I think I should still get sub, uh, sub three.
Okay, actually this might not be sub 3. This might be like barely above 3. Definitely not sub three now. Three cycle Ganondorf. Stall for 420. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, the collapse is skipped in Randomizer, because there's no items to randomize there, and it just is kind of extra, kind of boring time, so the collapse just gets skipped in Randomizer. So not as hard as the first, uh, the first scarce item seed, which is good because it means that it's not always going to be bad and it's not always going to be short. How many no strength ones have I had? I haven't really counted. I I, I don't really keep track of how many runs I don't get strength. I think I've definitely had a few at least, but yeah. Um, no, no strength at all is definitely surprising. No, I'm not gonna do another one, sorry. But, we can check the spoiler log. Let's go see what I missed, see what I was dumb about. No, I'm not doing another one. Shut up. I'm 
All right, there's the spoiler log. Let's see, what do I need to look for? Oh, I need to look for storms, because I want to see if lullaby was impossible. Deku Tree, Compass, Chest, Song of Storms. Okay, I never even found Deku Tree, and let's see where Deku Tree was. It's probably like Spirit Boss Door or something. Uh. Yeah, Spirit Boss Door was Deku Tree. And then, what was Deku Tree Boss Door? Deku Tree led to Shadow Boss Door. Shadow, where did Shadow lead to? Shadow led to Twin Rova. So there was a chain of Spirit to Deku to Shadow to Twin Rova. There's no second magic in in these uh, with these settings. This is only one magic. Making this all up to fit my narrative. You can literally, I literally give you guys the spoiler log to look along with me. I'm using the fennel branch. Uh, if you check the vod and check my file select screen, it has the branch and version number I'm using. Uh, what else do I need to check? Uh, oh yeah, long shot. Which Gruta Valley long shot was it? Okay, it was one of the night Skultulas in in uh, Gruta Valley, so I could have gotten it if it was nighttime then, but it wouldn't have been that big of a difference. It only would have let me get that one skull. It didn't even turn out to be magic. <clears throat> Deku Tree Basement GS was bigger on sword. Okay, so it was all the way back in the back of the Deku Tree. Okay, so I don't think I I really missed anything, anything dumb. I mean, I could have kind of got hammer earlier, but I mean the routing would have been. I technically could have gotten a wallet from DC earlier, and then I could have gotten it like my first pass through of. Uh, wasteland, but then be kind of weird. Tracker, oh yeah, I just closed the tracker, whoops. No, not Unamas. Sorry, I guess it'll be kind of short today. But yeah, I think I'm done for now. No, OMS Task 2 is over. I only showed it after it was already over. It's on to task three now, which I might skip. But yeah, anyway, uh, I think I am done for now. Oh yeah, I guess, should I go raid my, my AI streamer? All right, here, go raid Nerosama. Go support the AI uprising. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye bye.